and welcome to Rice Cup Vlog. This is Irish and Matt, my husband, and we are a Filipino American couple in Tennessee. So recently, we made a post about um, a wedding ring that he made, and it's made from a dollar coin. A dollar coin. I said in that post that um, he made a lot of sacrifices for me. Um, and that's what I'm gonna tell in this vlog um, and also we're gonna share our love story We actually made a video a long time ago. A lot of people saw it. I think we have 100,000 views on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I can put the link below and Since a lot of people are still asking how we met and they are curious about our love story We're gonna make another one. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so it's is it funny if I speak Tagalog? Sure. Okay, so I'm gonna speak Tagalog. Para ako masabi ko sa inyo, para magka heart to heart ho tayo. So, ganito, uh, ako ay simple babae lang ho noon. Ako ay probinsya na. Wala akong napaibig sa akin noon. Alam ko naman ho na bawal din ho magka-boyfriend noon. Dahil uh, my parents are really strict. They told me that um, I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend unless I graduate in college. That is their, that is our deal. You know what I told them? I said, you shouldn't worry about that because look at me. I mean, look at this face. This is the face that you made and you already know that nobody's gonna like this. So, I gave them an assurance. I don't know. <laughs> My dad is a soldier. He's a retired soldier. My dream was I just wanted a guy who will love me. But I knew that I that was not going to be possible because my parents were strict and I was more focused on education. So all I did was just do a daydreaming. Mm -hmm. Like I was like daydreaming. Tulalain kung sabihin sa batang kasi ako tulalain nag-i-imagine ng lalaki na darating sa akin <laughs> sa aking room <laughs> not like that okay okay <laughs> nakagraduate ako and then I think one year or after or before a year after graduating ako ay nag-take ng let but awa ng Diyos so ay tayo ho ay nakapasal so after ho noon ay magpa-item ho kami so habang nag-aantay ako ng item nag-apply ho ako sa uh, private school. I applied in a private school. And and then while I was browsing the internet, an American guy messaged me. That wasn't you. It was another guy. It was it was another man and he's from Las Vegas. <laughs> I was like, "Have a hair." <laughs> Walang magkagustong Pinoy. Amerikano yung nagkagusto. <laughs> uh, so, yun ang nagagawa ng Facebook. Actually, I wasn't really looking for an American guy. Because, ang target ko talaga ay Pinoy. Dahil, bakit ko naman gusto mag-abroad? Eh, meron akong uh, stable job. Meron akong trabaho sa Pilipinas. Ba't ko naman iiwan yun? Eh, di, ano, wala wala akong maligaw sa akin. Gusto ko nga na merong magkagusto sa akin at nagkataon nga ako na Amerika nang nagkagusto. At uh, pagkatapos na noon ay nagka-chat to kami. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that I had feelings for him too. But the only problem is he wanted to marry me. And I said that you have to wait for 5 years. That's what I told him. You have to wait. And he said I can't wait anymore. I said, I told him, I gave him a list of, of all my responsibilities in the Philippines. And he told me that, don't worry, I'll send money. He said, I can't wait anymore. Just marry me. Come here to Las Vegas and marry me. I was, I'm not gonna go there. I don't know what's waiting for me there. And I have a responsibility here. And he always say, I send money. That's why I told in my post, um, money is not the main reason why you want to marry a man. Mm -hmm. Because if there's no connection, you'll suffer in the end. Because you don't know what's waiting for you on the other side of the world. Again, sa, uh, nag-give up siya. He gave up on me. <laughs> the most important part of 
a long distance relationship is constant communication. Wow. And not just hi, hello, how are you, what are you doing today, what did you eat today? Repeat, I love repeat. you. Even if I love you and you yeah. say I love you too. I love you. Repeat, repeat every day. Yeah. I, there's got to be more. There's no connection. Yeah. There's no things in common. You got to be able to easily talk to each other like everyday things. Yeah. Just carry on conversations easily. Mm-hmm. If it's repeat, repeat, you probably that's probably not the right person for you. Yeah. And at the same time, while I was talking to him, you added me as friend. So, I had you as my friend, but I wasn't too timing. I wasn't like that. Because I, I asked God before, I don't want to I don't wanna experience heartbreak because I'm not good at handling that. And he thought the first one you meet was the right one. Yes. So, he thought, oh, this is, God gave me this, so this is my option. I have to try to make it work, but, yeah. you know, it didn't work. I told him before, I said, you're the only one that I love. There's no one else. But I had you as my friend. I did the same thing. He did the same thing too. Yeah. Because it's hard. It's the first, like the first one, you know, you feel like you have you, to weigh I, everything. I think that's a bad thing to do when you're when you're like you ain't never had a boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't I don't think you should teach your kids or think yourself that the first one you meet is going to be that perfect one. Yeah. It's like almost like a fairy tale. Yeah. Because if you do that, you'll end up linking up with somebody that you don't even have a connection with. Just because you're stuck on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's best to just move along if it don't work, you know. Mm-hmm. Don't don't be stuck on trying to get the first one. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You're my friend back then. So he's not the first one. And I asked you, I said, can you add this? This is my boyfriend. He knew. You knew that I had a boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. And this is my boyfriend. Tell me about him. Because uh, so salitaho is I was asking for a second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so I told him visit his page and see if he's because he's an American he probably know more about Americans and he looked at his page his wall and he's like I don't feel what did you say? I don't remember I don't feel like he's the right one for you he lives in the city and I'm a country boy <laughs> he's a city boy they're, they're completely opposite city well, I think boy, I mean, country I, boy I think I asked you you know if I can can you get along with him good? Can you talk to him good? I don't remember. It's been a long time. Yeah. So you came to me, and he was like, I'm, I'm in a dilemma. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Yeah, just <laughs> asking for your opinion yeah, about yeah. him. And he said, no, he's not the right one for you. I didn't know he had a secret agenda. He just want to get me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew he was looking after me. I call you big bro, right? Yeah. Yeah, I call yeah. you big bro and you call me little sis. Yeah. And, um, but at the same time, he's kind well, of flirting with me. Yeah, but, I was flirting with you and stuff, but I just, like, I didn't think, it, you know, anything would actually happen because, you know, we're two different countries. Yeah. I never traveled out of my state. His I mean, parents are strict. I uh, went to the surrounding states, you know, like, I've been to, like, four states or something, but I never traveled no farther than, like, six hours away from the house or something so you know i didn't think that was an option and then you said that i don't think he's the right one for you and after that he just stopped talking to me i had a breakup i had a motorcycle accident my grandfather passed away and that made a way for you to give me your crying shoulders (laughs) you're the one who was there for me to comfort me when I had that accident, my face was filled, covered with scars. You messaged me, you said, hey there, pretty girl. And I said, not so pretty anymore. I got scars on my face. I don't think this will ever heal up. <laughs> and you said, I'll, I'll pray for you. And you said that, uh, don't worry. Mm. You're still beautiful to me. And you said that you're inside. What's inside you is what matters most. Yeah. And I fell in love. I was like, oh, he is so sweet. We were friends. And then after that, we became close friends. Mm-hmm. And we got, like, being best friends. Like, we just talked to each other every day. I could tell the connection we, when we were messaging. It seems like we were raised by the same parents. Yeah, seems well, like it's like, 
we have so it was many like you talking to your brother and sister like yeah like, 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 like we're raised together talking. yeah because it's so easy just to talk like yeah. every day it went like oh what am i going to talk about today is it going to be the same thing same same messages repeat repeat it wasn't like that it's just like flowing yeah easy to get along with just coasting you know yeah, we became boyfriend and girlfriend. You just said, I love you. I said, what kind of love are you feeling for me? And he said, you said, more than a, more than a friend. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, does it mean that I have a boyfriend now? I don't know. <laughs> and he said, yeah, but you're my girlfriend now. And I was so excited. I was so happy. Uh, you, you said that you was equivalent. You remember that? You said, I think... So too. Yeah, I feel the same. I think I feel the same way too. I said this. So does that mean we're boyfriend and girlfriend now? Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> you said that there's a girl that's trying to get you. Who oh, she won't leave you alone. Yeah. And she gave you a letter. Yeah. And. And then, so you tried to propose to me on the internet. <laughs> Please let me know. Will you marry me? I did. Yes. <laughs> Will you marry me? And I was like. There's a girl who's trying to get me. <laughs> so she was stopped. That sounds so weird now. Looking back, you know. <laughs> we got engaged. And so you're excited. And then after that, you made a ring from a coin. Mm -hmm. And this is it. This is made from coin. So the moment that you showed me the picture of this, I was like, he really loves me. <laughs> that is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. This is the ring that's made from coin. So he made one for him and we, one for me. Ah. It's a little too big for me. Yeah, I never met her in person. You never met in person? I didn't know. She didn't know her Does ring size. You? I have to bore this one out. I didn't do enough work on this one, but it almost fits. Yeah. Got one dollar. In God we trust. And what else? Liberty, yeah, so it has the coin printing, but yeah, that's that's the rings. Sorry, how I'm saying, yeah, ring wedding ring review on my post. Somebody commented that she said that, um, sorry, but that is not handmade, it's not possible. Hmm. He used a melting machine for that and things like that. No, definitely not. So I did it actually by hand, no tools other than the drill to drill out the center. Yeah. I can start wearing it. It won't fall off. Yeah. Gain a little weight. <laughs> I need to. Ever since he told me about this, my goal was to gain weight, but it never happened. Well, I think I, I think it took me to make both of them two days, one day each. You got a wound from this, from doing this? Yeah, pinch my, got one of blood blisters. <laughs> Like this one, <laughs> we got engaged. Yeah. Oh. And. Yeah, and then you look. You looked for a wedding dress. I wasn't really looking for a wedding dress. You wasn't. No, I was thrifting, basically. It was thrift store. Uh, a, okay, okay. a flea market. I'm not really not really okay. Okay. It's not. You no, know, it was a vendor's mall, so it's like a flea market type thing. Okay. So do you have something palenque. equivalent? Like a palenque, yeah. And I saw that dress. It was sitting up on a. Uh, what would you call it? Uh, like a mannequin type thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this plate. And this was that is beautiful. I've never saw a wedding dress like that. And this was the time that we didn't we haven't met yet. Yeah. You don't even know my size. No, that was just fresh. Everything was fresh. <laughs> the crazy part is, you know, it's not common. You was tiny. You were tiny. You, you, was, you have so much leap of faith back then. What were you? Five one. I was five one. Five yeah. one. You're six one. Ninety. Two pound, I guess. I think it's about ninety two pound. Uh -huh. Five one ninety two pound. Okay, you can the for the American viewers, uh, or people that's familiar with Americans, that is not a normal size for someone getting married over here. That's more like a kid size. Really, it is. You know, it's tiny. That's a tiny wedding dress. Yeah. Uh, not many people over here that at the age of getting married. Uh, 18 year old could fit in that dress wow so that's yeah. just made that's really made for us okay so anyhow i saw that and i was like oh wow that looks like the perfect dress i've never saw one it was the most beautiful wedding dress i ever saw yeah. 
and it would just looked unique, had its own style to it, and we actually got compliments oh, yeah. after a wedding. They're like, "Where did you get that? Did you get that in the Philippines?" Because yeah. it just didn't look it didn't look normal. It has a and lot of ribbons here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Bows. a lot of lace and lace stuff and on the front. It's vintage. Line. And uh, so yeah, and it was in great condition, like really good condition. Yeah, so I bought it. <laughs> When we renew our vow in the Philippines, I want to wear that dress again. <laughs> you think you can fit in it? You've gained a little bit of weight <laughs> since then. What are you, 98 pounds now? You did now? a few adjustments on that wedding dress. When I came here, we did a few adjustments on it. Like the yeah. height and I think the waist or the chest area. I don't know. I think it was chest. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it was perfect. That was a very beautiful wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then you came... And then after that, you worked on the paperwork on the fiancé visa, and you lost weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were so stressed. Fiancé visa paperwork. It's kind of stressful, but we, but we made I it I did happen. everything myself. Uh, yeah. I should have got a lawyer, but yeah. I didn't really have money back we then. We tried to save money. This is what gave me the assurance that you really love me <laughs> because you did a lot of sacrifice for me. When you made this... A coin ring. I knew you had me running in your mind while you're doing this. Is that right? Mm -hmm. When you were shopping at the flea market, you was thinking about me. Mm -hmm. And and then you tried to save money so you can visit me. And for a young man who don't have enough savings, that is a lot of sacrifice. So what did you do to? save money to for you to be able to pay for the paperwork and for you to be able to pay for the passport and go to the philippines i sold my car oh i did uh carpenter work like um you know nag so in panday you worked on a deck yeah is that right yeah a for how many deck. days it was a huge deck it was two level deck that was like probably 15 foot by 40 foot long, uh -huh. long hours and to make some extra money. How many days did you work for that? Um, I don't remember. It's been so long I can't remember. <laughs> but I worked hard and long. And another thing that you did to save money. That's one thing that's good about America. If you want to save money, just work. There's a lot of opportunities. Yeah, right? if you really try. Yeah. Um... Another thing that you did is you you uh drove from Tennessee to Indiana. Yeah, to make more money. Yeah. I drove eight hours. Well, not eight hours. It's about seven hours. By the time you get fuel and stuff, probably eight hours. You know, but for $100. Wow. We thought $100 is a lot of money back then. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was just, I knew I needed every little bit because, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the plane tickets long were. Uh, thirteen hundred dollars back then. So yeah, uh, which I had sold my car. Yeah. Uh, actually, kind of like a dream car mm. for a younger guy to have or an older guy to have. I feel like I want to buy that car for you. I wish I, I could to find, find it. it. I wish I could. What kind is it? It's a seventy-four Nova, two-door Nova. Okay, we we have so many connections now. Maybe maybe they hey, can find the it. American dudes will will know what I'm talking about. Uh, the 70, 1974 Nova, Chevy Nova, uh, two-door, and it was nice. Do you regret selling your car for me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I still had it. <laughs> I do. I can, you can trade me for the car. <laughs> you want to? Uh, no. Oh, I love you. <laughs> like I now, do believe. I can do it. I can Okay, so tapos mo niyan, ay nakabili, ka, nakabili ko siya ng ticket. Because of his hard work, he was able to buy a ticket to the Philippines. And uh, fiancé visa and things like that, he was able to do that. So, uh, for the fiancé visa, the requirements are the poverty yeah. limit. And you have to have a proof of genuine relationship. Mm. So, when you're in a relationship with a Filipino or a foreign woman... Um, you have to go to her country and take a lot of pictures and show them that you're receipts. really yeah, receipts. Show them that you're really in love with each other and sweet. 
with each other. So, yeah, yun ang ginawa niya. Nakita ko kami sa airport. And, ako, i-nervous no? I was so nervous. Kakapupulbo ko na mukha. I put powder on my face. I was like, oh, how do I look? Nasusukan sa ako. Because this is my first time having a boyfriend in real life. <laughs> I guess I was on no boyfriend since birth except that guy from Las Vegas and then you. But okay, then, for the American viewers over there in the Philippines because they're darker complexion, they take baby powders, yeah. pat it on their face, <laughs> on their arms to get that shade lighter. It's true and it's common. Everybody has baby powders over there. I mean, all the women have baby powders. Yeah. Don't don't believe me. Try. I don't know about now though because of um that thing that they can get cancer from. Oh, it. I bet you they still do. <laughs> Guarantee it. Yeah, ako yung masuka suka ako yun yun nervous na nung imimit ko na siya sa airport. I'm alone, man. Hindi pa usig yun ano. Kasi ako yung mga pinsan ko. At and then and then he yeah we met at the airport mm. and pagod na pagod siya alas onsi na siya nakarating sa sa Pilipinas tapos ay uh, uh, gamit ho namin yung sasakyan ng ama, yung van uh, SUV, yung SUV sabi ko, I hope everything goes perfect because I am so nervous and guess what happened ay umandar ng sasakyan ng ama it was messed up so he was so tired and he, what did you do? To make the car run. We pushed it, right? Nagtulok siya. Tinulok niya. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> because he was so tired and he... This is the uh, first time you saw first me. first meeting and he was yeah. working on my parents, my dad's SUV. <laughs> yeah, I think we worked on the battery too. Yeah, but that is a plus pogi point to my dad. To my ama. <laughs> plus pogi point. Gawa ho, uh, when he came to the Philippines, you know, yung period, ligawan period, hindi ako yung nililigawan niya, ang ama ang nililigawan niya. When you were uh, in the Philippines, you, you uh, were trying to impress my father because you were trying to ask for my hand. Yeah, but well, you didn't have that intention. It's just... Yeah, it just happened. You get to know me, but he yeah. knew me. Yeah, um, but you know, he's my dad, so... But before I came, did you, say, did you tell him that he was like, you know, he's, he can come, but that's all, you know, nothing more. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, he that's the uh, testing period. Yeah, he, they're trying to uh, see what kind of person you are. Because, you know, it's hard to let go of your daughter mm. to another country with a man that you barely know. If you remember, he was like, he can come, but he ain't staying here. Yeah, you need to uh, stay in a different a place. Yeah. Uh, and that changed within the first night. Yeah, yeah, so it worked out pretty good. He uh, impressed so me. I think the vehicle helped to break the water on that. Yeah. But <laughs> Break the ice, we, so to speak. So we stayed in, he stayed in my house, but he wasn't allowed to sleep with me. We were, he slept in... Yeah, uh, straight families. Yeah, his, his family is conservative. Mine is too. My dad made us sleep in separate bedrooms. Maybe they're like chismes about us, but I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, we slept in different bedroom. Because mm. uh, they're trying to preserve me for marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't like it. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look how excited. <laughs> okay. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Piniling na. Pero yun nga ho. Uh, we... <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Uh, Just something. <laughs> Hold on. So... Um, we kissed like this. That's it. On our, that was the last night. Our last I was night. was leaving that next morning. Yeah, when he was leaving, we kissed because we're like, 
Nothing's gonna ha- nothing more's gonna happen anyway, so we kiss without your dad's approval. We're actually not allowed to hold hands back then. <laughs> We're not allowed to hug. Hmm. And not allowed to touch each other. Yeah, because your dad was in soldier mode. <laughs> my mom too. Yeah. <laughs> my mom was like, was that, got whole guys. Yeah, they all <laughs> just watching. Her, your dad and mom watching us the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Like we'd be in the kitchen, eyes up around the corner. <laughs> we'd be in the living room sitting down. <laughs> Did you get scared? Uh, like sch- schizophrenic. Like I feel like somebody's <laughs> looking at us. <laughs> And but uh, yeah, we weren't allowed to do that. But you sneaked, you hugged me. I was like, oh, is this this how it feels like? <laughs> I'm not gonna take a bath for one year. Yeah, she's. Uh, yeah, like, that oh, sounds weird. But she was obsessed doing? with my scent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. So yeah, if you. She said you smell so good. There, there's there's an explanation on chemistry that. Yeah, if you have chemistry, <laughs> if you like how the person smells, it means you have chemistry. <laughs> um, but you hug me. Mm. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> but that's it. Was it the first or second visit? First visit. Okay. Yeah. Look at look at Tayo. <laughs> look at. <laughs> but that's it. So just one hug like this. Mm. And. And then when you were leaving me, you kissed me. Yeah. But, yeah, and when we go to places, we always have chaperon. We experienced the Ligawan period, the traditional courting process. Mm. He was, uh, so, you know, pinagsibak siya ng kahoy. Chopped wood, mm. firewood back then, yeah. you remember? Yeah. And the firewood was everywhere. Nagtatasik. <laughs> pinagsibak siya ng kahoy gamit yung gulok. Nagtatasikan yung mga... I was mga... chopping it and it just fly. Nagtatasikan <laughs> yung mga kahoy. <laughs> no technique. Sayang no hindi... technique. Just hit it hard to make it break. <laughs> hindi namin na vlog eh. Sayang uh... sana ako noon pa kami nagbablog. <laughs> Ang daming katatawa nang nangyari. <laughs> You didn't tell the part the first visit. What? Your dad gets my hand and he's like, Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. He's like, he's rubbing my hand. He's trying to find my calluses. And I don't know if he's impressed because he's talking in Tagalog. But he was looking for my calluses. I was like, I really don't. I said, My hands are not really rough. I mean, you can look at them right now. They sweat all the time, so they're well moisturized. <laughs> Hey, we we weren't allowed to hold hands. But you, know? you can see my you but can see my calluses. We weren't allowed to hold hands, but we we uh, was that the first visit or second? I don't know. But we sneak, and we hold hands in, at the back of the car, the SUV. Mm. Do you remember that was that the first or second? We did I this. I think the second. And I was like, oh, it feels like electricity. I was never held by a man before. <laughs> yeah, the, all the first time. All the first time was so amazing. Mm. I like all the first times with you. Mm. I mean, all the first time that happened to me is it was with you. First time riding the airplane, first time being hold, held by a man. Every first time happened with you. Is that mm. amazing? Kinilatis ho ng ama. Another question my dad asked him. Kung sa ho daw ay what? Tell them. Are Tell you chop chop? <laughs> If you're circumcised, <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I don't. But you don't know if you're circumcised. I mean, I didn't know. So I, I, I don't remember. I was actually I don't having, remember what the day I was hey, born. <laughs> listen, I was actually having a conversation with your parents, your mom and dad, the other day at Captain D's at the restaurant. I asked his mom, "Is he circumcised?" If I was, they didn't do a good job. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! (laughs) They did! What are you talking about? Be confident, okay? (laughs) I mean, look at your daughter. What are you saying that for? (laughs) No, it's not like that. 
They don't have anything to do with that. Yeah, you you made a good daughter. You made a good kid. So they did a good job. You did a good job. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> it's weird because in the Philippines, men are circumcised when they're like, what, 12? I think so, yeah. 10? I don't know. Oh, but around that yeah, time, I mean, you can feel the pain. Yeah, for sure. Can you take the tough? Are you tough like that? Do you think huh. you Americans think that you're tough, but Filipinos are tougher than you? So, yeah. Here, for the ones that don't know, they do it as soon as you're born. Like, literally. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it's the next day or same day. Yeah. But it's right then. So, your mom told me that all your, all her boys are circumcised. Hmm. Yeah. But, my dad but yes, asked. that was very important for him. It was important was for breaker. my dad. It was yeah. like a deal breaker. Yeah, if you are not, if you are not too late, <laughs> you will not marry my daughter. <laughs> Sounds like a joke, but I think it was true. I think it was very much true. How did you feel when he asked that? Like, what? I don't know. It was like cringy. Like, what? Man, this means a lot to him. Of course, it means a lot to Filipinos. Yeah, it does. It it, it does. It means a lot. I mean, circumcision happens in my neighbor's, neighbor's house. <laughs> so he's right there close to the action. Yeah. yeah. The guluk and the hammer. <laughs> bayabas. No, no, bayabas. There's a bayabas, a guava. I don't know how they do it. I never like watch it. Yeah, stick. You put the thing there and you chop it. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I saw boys lined up nervous going to my neighbor's house. <laughs> they're, wearing, they're wearing a skirt like this. Like that. And they were like... <laughs> After they leave. Like, You're talking yeah. about after they leave. Yeah. They're like, oh, you can hear the guys crying. Oh, they was a kid. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, tinipon ako. So, yun. That's happened in Batangas <laughs> and other places in the world. Why did we talk about that? <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, I mean, that's part of life, you know, part of the tradition of the Philippines, circumcision. So, yeah. Okay, and then uh, what else? Uh, you fetch water. Nagigibuhos siya ng tubig. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of brownouts in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. You have to deal with that. Brownout. Yeah, well, yeah. not in the Philippines, in Kalatagan. Y'all had water, running water. Yeah. But brownouts all the time, which means no electricity, water. no electricity. So no water too. Yeah, because that's part of electricity. Yeah. The pump, and so they still had the well that you pump. So I had to go out there and pump some water for the mm-hmm. for the house. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You pump water. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot to take. Oh, uh, what else? Um, he did. I told you he did a lot of sacrifice for me. Oh, before he told me before. Uh, before he came to the Philippines, he said that he practiced sleeping on the floor. Because you thought you sleep on a bamboo floor. <laughs> so you practice sleeping on the floor. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, because that's not common here. You sleep on a soft bed, big cushion. Over there in the Philippines, they will sleep on the flat floor. Their furniture is made out of wood, like bamboo. And they will sleep on the flat bamboo, no pillow or nothing. Like, oh my god. <laughs> They're tough. Yeah, we tried to buy a mattress for my parents, and they would never accept it. They would rather sleep on they, the bamboo floor. We, we bought two of them. <laughs> they slept on it one night, and they said, enough of this. I can't handle this. I'm hurting all over. Did they not? Mm-hmm. And they did not sleep on it anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're used it's to it. It's thick, too. They said that the mattress is hurting their back. Yeah, that's what I said. It hurt. It was. It was about eight <laughs> inches thick. Was gusto pa sa kawayan sa sahig sa sahig ko na tutulog ang amat ina yun ho don sila na sana kaya hindi na namin binilhan ng yun hindi na nag ano nagkakama. Ah, gusto nila yung maaliwalas may may simoy ng hangin. There's wind through the bamboo. That's what they want. Yeah. Ah, ah, and then you experience maglawig ng palabaw. Mm. Carabals are mad at you over there. Well, I don't think they were as that bad in when the first time I come was or was it? I don't know. I don't 
Yeah, marami mo siya ma-experience. So overall, Did I ride it? You're, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think you did, yeah. Road behind it. I'm not sure. Road behind it. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think about your overall experience of the Liga 1 courting process? Um, yeah. Kept me interested constantly. Something new. Yeah. And the food? What about the food? Yeah. He never... He never had a hard time when it comes to adjustment. I'm not picky on food, so... He ate hawot. He's a hawot boy. Yeah. I ate, I ate sea snails. Oh, he wants to eat it. What do you mean? I ate eel. Eel? That's not eel, that's fish. Swordfish, yeah. I ate pretty much everything, right? Yeah. Octopus. Fishball. I never ate octopus before. I Fishball, octopus. kikyam, lomi. That's your favorite, lomi. Oh, yeah, that's really good. He's 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 a Batangas boy because he likes lomi. Oh, um, yeah. What else? Yeah, canned food. You ate canned food too. Mm -hmm. Ligo. Every, I mean. The loaves of bread that your mom bought. You yeah. didn't tell that part? What? What was that? She bought so much bread. Yeah, we panicked because we thought you Americans only Americans that. bread. Filipinos rice. Yeah. Rice every day. Rice three times a day. Five, ten, five pounds of rice per person per day over there. So they thought it's got to be, not literally five pounds, but. They thought it's got to be the same for Americans. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the so what's what's equivalent? Bread. So her mom went and bought me all kinds of breads. An Ulam burger. Different kinds of breads. I mean, there was sweet breads, there was butter breads, there was breads, 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 and loaves of bread. Yeah. I mean it was she went over the top like she had two Walmart bags full of bread, I would yeah. say. Like what in the world is all this? Y'all eat bread? I was like, here's what my, when I first saw it, I was like, y'all eat bread? <laughs> I didn't know y'all had bread. And it's like, no, we don't. I was like, why you, this is bread, isn't it? I was like, yeah, that's for you. Mom bought that for you. I was like, oh, I don't eat bread. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I really didn't have bread, I, like, for a long time. I, mm -hmm. I never really liked bread. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat bread. And uh, especially during that time, I was trying to watch my weight too. But I eat a lot of bread there. You basically have a Filipino heart. <laughs> and the cheese spread. Yeah. See, I, I remember eating that there. <laughs> I spread it on the yeah. flat bread. The oh my god, it's a bread. <laughs> and what else? I want happened? some of that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Do you still have that in there? Mia ate it. Then, Mia so. ate all the cheese. For me, a cheese is life. Yeah. Okay, so wait, I was going to ask you something. Um. Oh, yes. One thing I really liked about you is you told me, don't be fancy. Just be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. My mom was, uh, my mom, she was trying to uh, offer you a glass. You know, you know, you know, pag may bisita tayo, di ba, sa Pilipinas, yung nakatago na mga babasagin, yun ang ilalabas. And sa pinigilan ho niya kami, sabi niya, don't be fancy, just be yourself. Yeah, because I wanted you to be true to yourself like not try to be someone else I wanted yeah. you know so, that way you can have a good connection you know yeah, um, heart to heart so when you are in the courting process just be yourself yeah do not be someone else do not pretend to be somebody else don't think you changed to a different person because you yeah. didn't you'll be back to the, your original it's actually the crucial part of the relationship yeah. because when you get married Sooner or later, your true color will mm -hmm. come, will appear. So why not show your true self when you are courting? Yeah. So that if there's something that you don't agree with, yeah, or or you think that you're not the right, you're not right for each other, you don't have to compromise your marriage. If just you for can't that. work it out then in the beginning, yeah, be because of your differences, five years later you won't be able to work it out either. Yeah. Because, you know, it, you will not magically change. And I know we say this all the time, but you will not mag magically change. You'll always go back to that person again. So be yourself. Yeah. Um, do not be deceived by looks. Do not be deceived by money. Make sure that when you're in a relationship with somebody, you have a connection. Because, yeah. because you're, you're because helping you yourself too. Because if you have you still have something. Yeah. 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 If something That's tragically what... happens, if you got money, 
if somebody's got money and you've got them just for money, something tragically happens, you don't have nothing. Yeah. But if you've got you know connection with that person and they do have you money have or trust. whatever, and you lose everything, you, you still like have. That person. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't feel like you're a total loss. Yeah. Because you're really not. I mean, if you're mm-hmm. if you're if you're soulmate, you know. Yeah. And one point in your visit in the in the Philippines, you were just sad. You were sad looking. I asked you what's bothering you. Was it that the life? That was when I come back. I think so. What's bothering you? We just want to go back, right? Yeah, and you're just staring at nothing. You're just staring like this. Yeah, that was the second visit, and she was going to come back with me on the second visit. Mm-hmm. Uh, after a two week stay. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And then I got to thinking, this is really getting ready to happen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, I don't. I saw she was, you know, tight with her family, and I kind of felt bad for her leaving. And for taking me away from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she was what? What's wrong? Yeah, I always like ask nothing, you. Almost every nothing. day you were staring at nothing. I'd say nothing, 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 because yeah. I'm the type. I'm that type. Yeah, and then. And uh, finally. We were eating mango. Yeah. And <laughs> I remember that we're eating mango and with pepper on it. Okay, mango, and we're dipping it in baguong, okay. fish paste with. Cayenne peppers. Cayenne peppers, crushed. So it's kind of spicy. Mm. And I saw him. He's got tears on his eyes. It was, I was like, what's wrong? Is it too spicy? <laughs> uh. And uh, he opened up to me. What What did you say? I told her, I said, you know, I don't want to take you away from your family and this place and stuff. Because, you know. A you whole were new, crying. Yeah, a whole new like, different life you know you don't have no family over in america you don't have no friends over there just going to nothing you know that is the first time that a man cried for me (laughs) Uh, yeah that was the first time so i said you know if you don't feel that this is the right thing i mean like you should do it i said it's perfectly fine i said uh you know I'll just, you know, like move, move on, you know, we can still be friends. Mm. I just want what's best for you, you know, and, uh, anyhow, um, and he was like, no, what's your part? Oh, give me that. <laughs> what's your part? Oh. What did you say? What did you say? I said I just can't let you go. Yeah, you said I can't because let you go. Because we made so many memories on your stay in the Philippines. Yeah, you said I can't let you go. I've never had someone like this, right? Yeah. That's what you just said, kind of. Never had someone like this. I never felt love like that. Yeah. And uh, you said I wanna, I wanna do it. And uh, I said, well, you know, you got ninety days. We had plans, you know. I mean, I love my family. Don't get me wrong; they're my everything. That's the reason why I work so hard. Um, my schooling, mm. because they're my inspiration. Mm. So, we had already had plans. I mean, everything was, you know, like go, go, go. You know, before this, and uh, we already had the date planned to get married and everything, right? Yeah. And uh, two weeks. I got my wedding ring. I got my dress. Two weeks or a week after you come here. Uh, one week. One week. Yeah. Yeah, we had it planned. But, I mean, that was her too. You know, she was fine with that, and that's what we agreed on. Even though there was a ninety-day fiance thing, I cried. We, we knew that it was just it, right? Yeah. Uh, so that day happened, and I was like, man, you know, reality set in, like, you know. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that she was ready for that. And I told her, I said, I know we got the wedding set for, you know, a week after you come there. I said, but you got 90 days. You can come there and stay there, you know, mm-hmm. to make sure you like it, feel comfortable. You know, if you don't, you can just come back, you know. Mm-hmm. I said, whatever, you know, whatever is best for you. And uh, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it just touched my heart because, you know. Um, 
he was willing he did a lot of sacrifice but mm. the most the the worst sacrifice that you could ever do was me mm. um i mean you worked you worked so hard to uh be able to buy the plane tickets and to pay mm. for the fiance visa and still he was willing to let me go mm. because he was afraid that i wasn't gonna be happy mm. he was so depressed thinking about letting me go As I could tell, he was just staring at nothing. Mm. And I was like, something's bothering you. You've yeah. been thinking about it. Mm. So it means that yeah, you are really affected by, by what you are thinking about. Mm. What if what if I said that I'm just going to choose to stay here? What would you do? You've asked me this a million times. <laughs> I don't know what answer to give you. <laughs> will you be married to somebody else? I mean... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure we would be, you know, but um, but it doesn't mean that we won't we won't miss each other. The I'm connection, you, you know? the connection we made, and the memories that we made, it helped a lot for me to decide that I want to be with you forever. Yeah, I remember you told me you said you didn't want to leave me, mm. and I said, you know, you won't lose me. You, you can still be my friend. I didn't want you to feel like I was just saying goodbye. I was wanting yeah. you to. Um, I was wanting, I was wanting you to know you still had me mm-hmm. as far as like a friendship, the friendship and stuff, you know, yeah. but still he was like, no, <laughs> I want this. So yeah. yeah. You want to tell any more of the part in the Philippines what? or are you going to move on to here? Um, yeah. So I decided to let go of everything that I worked for. And my parents, thankfully, they... Uh, well, that was yeah, the final... Had... You already decided that, but that was the final decision. Why? After that day right there with the mango. Yeah, the mango decision. You had decision. already decided that. Mm-hmm. You already decided you was coming. We already had yes. the plans made. Yes. But huh. that was the very... That was the stamp, yeah. you know, in stone. That's, yeah, because that it. was like a test. Like, if a man cries for you, that means that he really loves you. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Um, I can I could see his pure heart, his pure intentions, and that's what made me more um gave me more assurance that I mean I will be in good hands. And I I trust you. I believe in you. Yeah, you you passed the test, you passed my test, and you passed my dad's test. So, and my dad treat him as his son. I I told him before. I said, you love him more than you love me. He does. He cares about you. And my mom told me, you take care of him, okay? That's mm-hmm. what she said. So, They love you him. came here. Mm-hmm. It was the night before the wedding. Uh-huh. I mean, yeah. we was pushing shove the whole time since mm-hmm. we got there to the U.S., It was push and shove, preparing everything for the wedding. Like, we had to prepare everything because we'd done everything ourselves. You know, mm-hmm. us and <clears throat> my mom and dad and my brothers and sisters helped it. And, uh, yeah. So, the night before. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So, when I came here, uh, they let us sleep in different bedrooms, too. I slept with your sister and you were with your brothers. Mm. And uh, I feel like I was al- kind of alone because... You're working hard and... Uh, you didn't know my sister either. Yeah, I didn't know you anybody. You didn't know one in my family. I no. mean, other than just saying I've been hi and chatted video chats them, and yeah. stuff like that, but you didn't have a person. But they're nice people. Yeah. Really nice. He's got a nice family. Yeah, you've seen them on my blogs. So, yeah, yeah. they're all nice. Yeah, okay. But back then, it was like hard for me because I didn't know them back then, mm-hmm. personally. So, the only time that I was happy uh, was when I wake up and I see you in the morning. And we still can't hug each other. <laughs> yeah, because my parents are yeah. well, just the, the same. Eyes, yeah, looking at us. And, and then the night before the wedding, I was like, I don't know if I want to continue this. I didn't expect this place to be like looking like this. It yeah, looks, because she came in the winter. It looks like a like horror. A start, almost the start of the winter. It's yeah. fall. It looks like a horror movie scene. No leaves on the trees. No grass. Everything's dead. I mean, that's how it is year, year after year here. It's like a haunted place. 
It's yeah. black and white. Everything's black and white. And it was like, I don't think it was a good idea for me to bring you here during this time. Because you always say, baby, don't worry. The flower's going to bloom again on springtime. So some people know about seasonal depression. Like every time it becomes fall or yeah. winter, yeah. they deal with depression mm -hmm. because, you know, there's just something about it. So you experienced it straight into yeah. America and you hit the winter fall winter depression right yeah. in the face yeah unang araw ko depressed agad ako looks like a looks like a haunted movie here and uh, I was sitting on the couch on the living room right mm -hmm. and I was like I don't think I can make it through broke down started crying yeah I was crying and he said and he told me um after doing all the works, paperwork, fiancé visa, like everything, every lots sacrifice. Lots of money. <laughs> lots of money. He said, I am, uh, if you don't think that you can make it, if you can, uh, that if you don't think that you can adjust to America, I'm willing to let you go. That's what he yeah, said. Yeah, just whatever you felt, you know. Yeah, because you want me to be happy. Mm -hmm. And you'll pay for my ticket back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I probably didn't have the. I know I didn't have the money. <laughs> well, how could you say that? Then? I had a. I had another the other car. Yeah. I had the Porsche. To, I could have sold. Or borrowed the money. I probably would have borrowed the money to be honest with you, from someone. And then paid them back. And I was like, he has the purest heart. Hmm. I think. He was so I think selfish. you already had your mind made up the same yeah. way I did before that happened but it was just everything adapting to everything it was just it's when you go overwhelming to another, yeah when you go to another country there's a oh your mind like me my mind was 100 miles an hour you see everything looks different your 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 eyes are just out there out of your head looking at everything you're absorbing everything and your mind is just all over the place because you're adapting to mm -hmm. new things you know so Especially with something like that, like marriage, you know. Yeah. One week is not enough time to... Um, Decide. Yeah, it's not enough time to adjust to a new place either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it know. took me one year to adjust, really. Send you back if you want to. I'll take you back. Or we can postpone the wedding. Mm -hmm. You can stay here for three months mm -hmm. and, and make sure you want to do it, you know. Yeah, because there's no turning back when you get married. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like I'm adjusting to two things, being in a different country and being married. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of overwhelming for me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I said, you know, you can stay here for three months. Mm -hmm. You got three months, 90 days, because that's the 90 day fiance mm -hmm. visa. Uh, we said we can wait, we can postpone the wedding. And, yeah. And if we decide, you can do it then. If not, I mean, and what did you say? Oh, I said, um, yeah, I cried again. I cried because he he deserves to be happy too. And yeah, he sacrificed and I sacrificed too. <laughs> both of us have sacrificed on both ends. And yeah, um, I didn't regret, regret what I said. I said, um, yes, let's continue this wedding. And the next... We went this far. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. And then the next I know, day... He said, I know you're the right one for me. Yeah. I know this is what I'm supposed to do, so we did it. The next day we got married. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I was in La La Land. Did you? Yeah. I was like, I was so down. Like, yeah, like is strange. this really happening? Yeah. I didn't even remember what I ate that day. Yeah. I knew I knew your mom made rice for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had to make sure that I have rice. They're so nice. So yeah, our wedding happened. I'm gonna show a video of our wedding. We ask you to bless them. Keep your hand up on them. Lead them with light. Make your sweet anointing be upon them. Lord, let them obey the vows that they have promised before you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. And give you a kiss of life.
about the honeymoon? <laughs> so we we left with. Hey, did we have we, any money left? We had two hundred and seventy dollars, and that was with the wedding gift money. So Most your it, uncle gave you money, and the total is two hundred seventy. Yeah. Okay, we didn't have GPS. We don't even have the money to pay for the phone bill. No. We start basically started from zero. So I had I had been to um, Pigeon Forge mm -hmm. area several times, so I thought I knew the way. So <laughs> it was night by the time we got over in that area, and uh, I knew the way, mm -hmm. but you know everything going on to um, <laughs> in the car on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> I passed the exit, uh, and before I knew it, I was like, uh, yeah, this is not looking familiar anymore. Uh, I think I passed my exit or something. I don't know where I'm at now. And this is our first time, okay? So, I get off the, I get off the interstate. He was so excited. I get Spoiler off, alert. I get off the interstate, and there was a cop sitting there, right? Mm-hmm. So I said, he went on. So I pulled over to the cop. I'm like, I'm trying to get to the hotel. Pigeon Forge. <laughs> uh, and we have a, the married, just married writing on the thing. Yeah, just all over married. the vehicle. Yeah. I don't have a GPS and I know the way, but I must have passed it or something. He's like, yeah, you're about, you need to go drive right back down the highway about 25 minutes. Was it 25 or 40? I don't know. It's been a long Seems time. Like it's, it's eight months ago, eight, eight years ago. Seems like I drove about. 35 40 minutes, I believe yes. it was back the way we just came <laughs> to exit 409. I believe it was. Were you nervous? I don't know, I guess. So, uh, was yeah. that your first time too? Yeah, because <laughs> it was mine. So, we went, we finally found the motel. Uh, yeah, yeah, and <laughs> And almost overflowed the jacuzzi tub. Yeah. Because we was filling it up. Okay, this is how this is how caring he is, okay. When I was in the Philippines... See, my caring didn't stop. It just kept going and yeah, going, right? Yeah, yeah. You've done been hollering about how unselfish I was. <laughs> when, I, when I was in the Philippines, I told my friends that I have an American <laughs> boyfriend. They told me, um, really? Will you be able to handle that? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Americans are tall. <laughs> <laughs> and you're tiny. That's what they say. So I was scared. Right? Mm. I yeah. was scared of you. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? You tell them. I'm kind of shy. <laughs> you tell them. <laughs> what happened? <in> a... <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is my first. Mind you, this is my first time. Oh. Nothing happened that night. Not much. <laughs> Nothing happened. Because <laughs> I said I'm scared. <laughs> and he said it's okay. I'll take care of you, and he really did. <laughs> <laughs> See, they said that Amer Somebody said American just only want. Um, Filipinas because of their body or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. I still took care of you. <laughs> but yeah, my selfishness is that where is that right? <laughs> Selflessness. Selflessness <laughs> continued. Yeah. On our honeymoon day mm -hmm. night, we didn't know what we were doing, and we prayed to God because we're so uh, innocent. <laughs> We prayed to God. I said, I don't feel right about this. Yeah, that's what brought that on. We you were, didn't feel right about this, you we said. Were, we were married already, and I feel like, I don't feel right about this. So we prayed, and I said, God, forgive us, for we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was the one there, like, it's normal. I mean, how do we get here? How did the other people get here? Oh, yeah. So but you know, when your mind is like I always say, when your mind is programmed a certain way yeah. for so many years, when you do something different, you feel rebel. Mm 
Yeah, but, but yeah. But not meaning it's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just your mind has to be reprogrammed because it's not something it's yeah. used to. But, yeah, nothing happened on that, that <laughs> night. We waited. How many days did you wait? <laughs> well, we was married on the 22nd, right? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> three days? Three days, yeah. <laughs> this how much was it? Was uh, it... Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving night. night. <laughs> That's how much he respected me. Okay, other guys, they can't wait before the wedding. They do it, but he, he waited up three days after the wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I uh, got halfway there. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? <laughs> halfway there. Why do you have to say that? <laughs> well, I mean, I still was selfishness. <laughs> Until we're able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so until we're able to uh, master. Master it. <laughs> <laughs> Mia is the proof. <laughs> that was was married for three years when. <laughs> no, no, that's a joke there. But yeah, we were married for three years. But that was because we have to, we, we wanted to wait. Yeah. yeah. On purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, we waited three years because I said we were we came from a long distance relationships. We didn't really experience the real dating period. So I told him, uh, why don't we just enjoy ourselves for, so how long did for a take, long time? So how long did it take you to go from halfway to pull Why do you have to say that? To pull I don't know. I don't pull even it. know. Was it's it been a long time. Two years? Three stop. years? Just stop. Change topic. <laughs> Change topic. Okay. So, yeah, na block na ako. Na mental block na ako. Okay. Tulog na tayo. So, we're past, okay, yeah, now we're to now. Uh, yeah. Unless you want to tell a life story about everything that's went on. <laughs> the details. No? Yeah. We on this car, and then we didn't no. on this car. And then we got this car, and then we didn't have this car. Well, I, I'll tell that in a different vlog, <laughs> uh, how we were able to... Um, go from nothing to something a lot of work a lot of work a lot of stress a yeah. lot of work i mean daily not just yeah yeah but, um i mean self-discipline mm -hmm. not spending on stuff that's a different vlog babe. yeah <laughs> there's a lot of work though still a lot of work we still yeah. do this one. but our love story our life story is it's really amazing to look back at it. Whenever and what's good about uh, having a long distance relationship is you have a document of everything you talked about. Yeah. yeah. You can look back at it. Oh, cool. Sometimes I'll be sweet to him. He's like, "Why are you all of a sudden sweet to me?" Because it's because I backread our conversation. Like <laughs> <laughs> backread ako ng messaging now. Yeah, that happened in the last couple of days, didn't it? Yeah, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. It's been in, it's been eight amazing years with mm. you. Yeah. Mm. And I like that. <laughs> so we made so many memories together. Mm -hmm. And so many tears and laughters. <laughs> and it was, in summary, it was an amazing adventure with you. I love you. Oh, I love you. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Mm. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you love our story. Mm. Hopefully, somebody will notice. Magpakailan man or uh, TV show in the Philippines, I don't know. But it, it, it's fine if we're, we don't get recognized. Uh, what matters most is we kept our story in our hearts and that's what made us closer to each other. Mm -hmm.